Hello, as I said, my name is Justin Wolf. I went to um, St. Bonaventure University. I did my four years in undergrad at St. Bonaventure as a political science major, and then decided to go right on back and in five and a half years completed that undergrad degree and my graduate degree, which is in adolescent education, um, where I decided to become a social studies teacher. I love to use that political science background in my government classes, and I am um, have been teaching econ here for a little while as well. Um, I love the New York Yankees. I'm a huge Yankees fan. We're hoping for a big World Series win this year. I try my best in class not to look down on Red Sox fans, but um, sometimes it's easier said than done. Uh, I'm also the Mid Lakes baseball coach. I'm the varsity coach here at Mid Lakes. Um, last year was our, my first year, both teaching and coaching, and we were undefeated um, because we didn't get to play any games. But that's besides the point, right? Uh, I love to read books. Is reading books is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, during quarantine, we got to do a lot of reading. Um, East of Eden is that picture there. It's one of my favorite books. Um, and yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Why I'm here, um, I have a passion for teaching. I love teaching. I love working with kids. Um, I, I think that I have a, a great passion for both teaching in general and then teaching um, government econ. econ. Uh, I, I wish everybody was able to be here in person. I understand that we can't be. However, um, that doesn't change how bad we wish we could um, be working with your with your child. Um, I like this picture over here on the right. Here's Sue, 31 years old, homeschooling her kids for the last five days. Great job, Sue. Keep it up. Uh, we understand how difficult this process can be, especially for um, you guys working with your kids at home while we try our best to work with them here. Um, but it's going to take a good team, right? We're going to have to work together. So teamwork is going to be huge um, and communicating and all that will get us through to the end of the year. It may not seem possible right now, but I promise we will get we will get there um, as long as we work together. Uh, my inspiration is I had I had a lot of great teachers when I was in high school. I had a rough go in my high school uh, years. My dad passed away, and I had some great role models to lean on um, in terms of teachers. And once I was able to kind of look back on that, I decided that that's exactly what I wanted to do: is be that um, person for for other children. And for other kids to um, kind of show them that it's not as bad as it has as it feels like sometimes. It doesn't have to be, have to be as bad as it seems. Um, so that's kind of my inspiration for becoming a teacher. And now that I'm here, I like to make school fun. I don't want anybody to have to dread coming to my class or coming to my Zoom meeting. Now I guess um, I like to make school fun. So I always start out with a terrible, terrible joke, which everybody seems to get a nice. I roll that um, and find different ways to make both government and econ relatable to, to high school seniors and um, for us to find ways to enjoy ourselves a little bit because I think that that's something that is also very important. So econ, we'll start with economics. Um, as I said, this is a 40-week course. Uh, both econ and government are each 20 weeks. So whether your son or daughter is starting out with economics or government, um, I'm going to address both here in this slideshow here. So for economics, um, we are going to go over valuable information that your son or daughter will need to make some of the most important consumer decisions of their life. Uh, some of the information they can use today. Other information will drive future decisions. Uh, all of it is here, though, to introduce them to the impact that being a consumer will have on their life and what an impact being a consumer can have in their local, state, and national economy. Um, this is a class that is necessary uh, credit for graduation. Um, I like to try and make it a challenge without making it too difficult. So I'm not here to hold anybody up. I'm not here to, you know, play gotcha and try and keep anybody back. Uh, my goal is the same goal as yours, is to make sure that your children can graduate and get in, learn some stuff, learn some cool things uh, about the economy, and then get out and um, graduate at the end of the year. So I'm not trying to make it too difficult, but I do want to challenge um, challenge us and make sure that we are learning and trying to push ourselves to become a little bit better each day um, without, you know, without making it seem insurmountable. For the government, it's called PIG, Participation in Government. Um, it's also a 20-week course, as I said. 
In government class, we like to examine the complexities of a governing a democratic society and the ways in which we as active citizens can and should be a part of that democratic process. Um, so what it looks like to be a good citizen, what a good citizenship um, takes, how we are all capable of um, carrying out that oath of office, if you will. Um, successful completion necessary for graduation will include your involvement in outside activities in both government and community service, which should enhance your connection to your community and your understanding of how government works. So the main difference, the main structural difference between economics class and government class is this participation project. So in government, one of the requirements is a participation um, aspect. Uh, so what your son or daughter will have to do is they will have to participate the first 10 weeks in either community service or government involvement and then vice versa for the next 10 weeks. So what that looks like is um, writing a letter to a public official, watching a debate, um, interviewing a public official, someone who is elected, whether it's um, the President of the United States or Mr. Sickles himself. Uh, so that's some of those options for government involvement. Uh, one of the some of the community service aspects that you can choose to do would be to um, volunteer for a blood drive or uh, a lot of things that are very difficult now with everything being locked down and with having a social distance. So one of the changes that we made this year is just to try and make someone in someone in their life life easier. So just trying to make somebody's day, whether it's um, shoveling the driveway for a neighbor or vacuuming for grandma or helping somebody move, just trying to do something that will help serve the community in some way. How to be successful in my class is this, what I told your son, your son or daughter is just that we have 90 minutes together um, every twi twice a week, every week. Um, so I said that if they can give me 88 minutes twice a week, um, I promise that we will get through everything and we will get there um, with open minds and we'll learn a lot. Um, as long as we communicate, if something comes up, uh, please let me know. It's important to me that I uh, know that you're not, you know, just skipping my class because you're sleeping. Um, as long as we communicate and, hey, I got a doctor's appointment, totally cool with me. I just have to know. Um, and then just, like I said, pay attention and, and take notes during class. Give me those 88 minutes and we will be just fine. Our, my Zoom expectations for while we're at home, um, expect to Zoom every time we have class. Some days we'll just be having a lecture and taking some notes, while other days we will just touch base. Uh, but at the beginning of every class, we will be Zooming to start so that I can either take attendance or deliver a lecture before we kind of break up and go start to work on independent work. Um, be on time. We're not meeting every day. It's because of this that it's important to be on time to all scheduled Zoom calls so that I can see you, right? It's, it's hard for me to get to know your uh, children without being in the same classroom as them. So um, I like to see them on the days that I have them in my class. Um, like I said, communication is key. If you won't be at a Zoom class, um, make sure that I know ahead of time if we're going to be out of town and or if the internet's out or if whatever comes up. As long as I know, I won't hold it against them. Um, but if I don't know, then I don't know. So just communication is key there. Um, I like to have them mute their microphone when they're not talking so that it doesn't interrupt other people who are talking. Um, sometimes we'll have somebody answering a question and then a dog will bark in another Zoom and we can't quite hear each other. So these are just kind of the realities that we're living in. And then stay on topic, no disrespecting anybody else. Keep it clean, I only see them a few times a week, so it's important that we stay on task so that we can make the most out of our time together. This is part of the behavioral contract that I had each student sign and each student has. Um, I, and I have them write their name there, will do my best to treat myself like someone I'm responsible for helping. I find that oftentimes students don't really take the best care of themselves. Um, so I think that framing it in this way, treat myself like somebody I'm responsible for babysitting or somebody I'm responsible for helping, makes them take accountability for themselves and treat themselves the way that they should. Um, make friends with those who want the best for me and I'll want what's best for my friends. Um, really holding ourselves to those high standards and uh, doing the same for our friends and being that good friend for other people. Uh, compare myself to who I was yesterday and not who someone else is or was. So often now we can get so down on ourselves, especially in high school. Um, so it's important to compare ourselves to who we were yesterday and not who someone else is. Just as long as we improve each day, we'll be just fine. Uh, pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. So sometimes that means doing the harder thing or 
doing something we don't necessarily want to do in the short term, but it will pay off pay off in the long term for us. Uh, that's an important lesson. And I hope that that's something I can convey to them throughout this year. Tell the truth, even when it's difficult for me. Uh, the way that I kind of frame this in a school sense is if you didn't do your homework, but you really want to, um, and you want to get the credit for it, just let me know. Hey, I didn't get my homework done. Um, I can get it to you by the next day. No excuse. I just, I just totally forgot about it. I'm more than likely, I'm going to be um, open-minded about it. Uh, as long as you are telling the truth to me, um, I'll tell the truth to you, and we will be um, all the better for it. Assume that the person I'm talking to knows something I don't, especially in the, the government class um, when we have debates. Uh, it's important to assume that someone that we're talking to has another viewpoint that we haven't quite considered yet. And so that's important to go into those conversations with an open mind and then try to do my best each day. So just give me what you can. I know that every day is going to be a little bit different, especially with the um, Zoom aspect and trying to wrestle with technology. I'm trying to do our personal best each day is what's going to get us to the finish line. Uh, and I know that sometimes it's going to be half capacity. It's going to be, I only got 50% 50 today, Mr. Wolf. Yeah, I totally understand. Um, as long as you can give me that 50% for those 88 minutes, um, I would appreciate it. So the best ways to uh, reach me would be through Schoology. Um, consult uh, your child and ask them how to get onto Schoology. I believe that there's a way to get parent portal access. Um, and then sending me a message. So if if they need to get a hold of me, the best way for them to do so is probably through Schoology. I try to answer those as soon as I can. Um, there's my email there as well, jwolf at midlakes.org. I try to do my best to email, answer emails as soon as possible. And then if it is um, urgent, there is my classroom number. Um, thank you guys again for tuning into this um, presentation. Again, I wish we could have uh, met face to face, but I hope that this gave you a little bit of an intro to who I am, what this class is, and kind of what to expect this year. Thanks.